This video is sponsored by Classic Football Shirts, the best place to get your classic and vintage football shirts. To get cheap retro palace shirts, click the link in the description below. And for an extra 10% off, use the code CFSPJ10 at checkout. Hello and welcome to the Ecrystal Palace TV YouTube channel. I'm Foster Greenbrook and today I'm bringing you a preview to this weekend's game against Everton at Sellers Park. Crystal Palace will be hoping to stop any momentum after the managerless Everton side secured just their third Premier League win of the season last time out. A remarkable victory over Watford from two goals down was sealed in the 91st minute, but the Toffees remain without a permanent manager three weeks after Ronald Koeman was sacked. The Eagles were unlucky to leave Wembley Stadium empty-handed last time out, going 1-0 down to Tottenham, and Roy Hodgson will know that the struggling Toffees are an opportunity to add to their four points already earned this season. In regards to team news, Ruben Loftus-Cheek faces a late fitness test after his minor back issue saw him limp off during England's goalless draw against Brazil before Roy Hodgson selects his 11 to start against Everton. Christian Manteca returned to training last week and could be fit enough to be in contention to feature for the Eagles for the first time since his knee injury in September. Paddy Renano is still out with a hamstring injury, whilst Knox Mean, Jordan Much and Lee Chun-Yong will miss out again. Conor Wickham is still a couple of months away from recovering from the knee injury sustained nearly a year ago. Roy Hodgson's pre-match press conference is now available to watch on the channel. Click the i button now. In terms of my predicted lineup, I've gone with Julian Sproni in goal, with a back four of Joe Ward at left back, two centre halves of Mumbu Saka and Scott Dan, with Timothy Fossi Mensa at right back. In the midfield, I've gone with Luka Milivojevic and Jeffrey Slup just in front of the defence, with Johan Kabay in a more forward central role. And in my front three, I've gone with Andros Townsend and Wilfried Zaha on the two wings, with Christian Menteke at striker. Don't forget to check out and download my weekly match review podcast later in the week for all this weekend's reaction. So thanks for watching, I hope you all have a good weekend and hopefully Palace will win all three points. All that's left for me to say is, remember to, up the Palace!